You're on ya? Link kit, heading level 3, link kit, rock cap. Out of this, out of this. Awesome sauce. <laughs> On the feature stage, to your entertainment pleasure, you have Daphne, Cindy, Sarah, Rachel, and Michelle here at the World Table Scores, where our girls work on tips and tips alone, because that's how they roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome sauce here at the World Table Scores, West 28th Street between 10th Avenue and 11th Avenue. Whatever the fuck that is. Girls shaking their ass to the all-American cash. Because remember, my friends, liberate those credit cards, tip your waitress, buy a drink, have a smile, and get the girl of your choice. <laughs> what? 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 It's in the wind. I too like to find Heidi fights. Make her my mentor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause remember, you got the girls walking the fours. Here at the World Famous Scores, you can take them to your VIP room, get yourself some private time with a dancer of your choice. Talk to your host or hostess today to make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Testify. Yeah. Look at the hottest Supergirl looking blonde in the building, Michelle Frost. Shaking those double T fun bags through your glory. Give her a down and down for the holla holla here at the World Famous Scores. At West 28th Street between 10th and 11th Avenue, www.scoresny.com in the United States of America. If it still exists after November 9th. Yeah, we're going to paint the town red and paint bitches' faces white. Because that's the American way. Testify. That's where they're in the X. King of Sex, the Red Bull Trippin', always pimpin'. It's awesome. So <laughs> Back to Exotica 2016. No more interviews today, except for what we're gonna play from Exotica. Back on the scene, talking trash. They go, trust the fire! That's a beautiful neighborhood, Hollywood and Vine and shit. They can get the music now. Hello, folks. This is Blind Adam the Comic Pimp. And this is the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast. As you can see, I'm rocking the Scores hat today. Scores is the official gentleman's club of the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast. You know, one of the greatest strip clubs in New York City, the Big Apple. My big apple, which I'm gonna take, which I'm starting to take a bite out of more and more. Um, you know, cause the big, cause if Frank, it's like what my motherfucking Frank Sinatra says. If you can make it there, you'll make it anywhere in New York, motherfuckers. 
greatest city in America. Testify. You know, um, we are now a day, a couple hours removed from Exotica 2016. Uh, you know, back in uh, Edison, New Jersey. Exotica this year was awesome. It was amazing. It was the best Exotica I've had since I started going to them back in 2009. When I was going with uh, Milan Star. See, back in the day, when I was just a baby podcaster, calling in the great comic podcast that you should give a listen to, like Comic Geek Speak, and I was talking about making the motherfucking money, and going, pick a picky pow with a picky picky bang, yo! Uh, you know, uh, my voice isn't still back to 110%, uh, but, you know, back when I was, you know, at Rick's Cabaret on West 33rd Street, another great strip club in New York City, I just, just discovered that there's a, a strip club up on 183rd Street, and it may be like a, like a really, it may be like a dive strip club, I don't know, I'm gonna check it out. Don't even know the name of it, so I can't plug them properly. I'll do a field trip when I go see my boy Kay. Um, after I pick up my speculation comic book pick to make the money, 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 money on of the week, which is Batman Adventures meets Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's the Turtles, it's April O'Neil, it's Joker, Harley Quinn, Joker teaming up with Shredder. Um, if you get them by Wednesday, you should take them up to Rhode Island Comic Con which is this weekend, and get them signed by Kevin Eastman. That's what I think I'm going to do. Along with their uh, the Rhode Island Comic Con exclusive, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 68, drawn by Eastman himself. Uh, you know? But that's my, my speculation pick of the week. Batman TMNT, especially the 1 in 10 subscription covers. Kabenga! Bam, bam, bam! Talking about the money shot, spreading the jizz. I mean, that's how it rolls. I mean, it's you got the two hot, hottest properties. If you're a kid from the late 80s, early 90s, I'm sure you were watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, collecting the action figures, playing the video game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Great, great cartoon theme song to get a laugh dance to. Um... And then back in about, and then, then you get, you had the 1989, totally fine, Tim Burton Batman movie with a piece of ass, Kim Basinger, Jack Nicholson, The Shining himself, as the Joker, Michael Keaton, Beetlejuice, 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 as Batman. It was a great movie. Billy D. Williams will be at Rhode Island Comic Con. He was the first live action Harvey Dent. Um, he'll be signing uh, all weekend long. Now get get your Batman eighty nine stuff signed. Get your Lando stuff signed. Uh, but it this really, and then ninety two you had Batman the animated series. Now last year DC and TMNT and IDW did a Batman TMNT crossover. Watch blew the market by surprise. It, you know, Batman goes to the team and team and T goes to the uh, they just cross over. I forget what happens a little bit, but it, it's just done. There's a one scene where the turtles are fighting Batman in the back cave, and it's just it's sweet. But I, I just I can't wait. It's it's gonna be great. So it comes out Wednesday, it's my pick of the week. You know, uh, still gotta read some some books for this week. I gotta catch up on some shows. You know, not sh you know Gotham's been great. Flash has been phenomenal. Arrow has been the most improved, sh and Supergirl tie for the most improved shows. 
That Linda Carter cameo was wow. Too sweet. You know, uh, but I am going to play an interview from Exotica as soon as I find the recorder. As soon as we get some equipment, we work the equipment, right? Friday night, you know, I got I got there really late this year on Friday night. Uh, you know, my bad to that. I was taking care of some other stuff. Um, you know, I was at a party at a friend's house that was went a little late. Um, and uh, you know, we went outside. We had a drink, and you know, she was just one of the, the sweetest people I got to meet. Uh. There's a really awesome piece of that story. I got flagged for the first time. It was kind of cool. You know, uh, I figured, what the heck? You only live once. You might as well try it. But that's my thing. I always dreamt of having this podcast and doing interviews and doing coverage, and I'm doing it. So all my blind brothers and sisters, to any of my other peeps who support me, who've loved me, who's been listening to this podcast day after day, month after month, year after year, even though we're only we're about to be year two in March. If you have a dream, go chase it. Do you have something you want to do in this life? And someone tells you don't do it, you look him in the eyes. And Danielle, Danielle so skazy. <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> if you have Someone in your life that tells you you can't do something because you're blind, because you're too short, because you have a small penis, whatever they think the fuck is the reason why you can't do it, you look them in the eyes, you spit in their face, and you tell them I can do it, because this is America. Yeah, we're all been hearing for months now that everyone wants to make America great again. We all have the power to make America great again, as I testify. Every time someone who thinks that they can't actually says that they can and they don't and they achieve the American dream, whatever the American dream is to them, that, my friends, is the American dream. Live finding your dream and contributing to America. No matter what part of America you choose to contribute to. So if you have a dream, you make that dream real. And you don't listen to some pencil pushing, state affiliated, so 
social worker who's probably not even good enough looking, who's a suck dick for keep her position in her job. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start to shoot. Because there's a lot of things I would love to get off my chest, but I won't. Because this show's all about the power of positivity. I mean, there's too much negative. I'm gonna turn on the lights. Maybe get some better lighting in here. Make this look like it, like it's at least halfway professional, and not like a tear rose producing the podcast. If anyone wants to work with the Awesome Sauce Comics podcast behind the scenes, you know, making me look good, making me feel a little better. You know, you want to make some dollar dollar for the holla holla. You know, and you can work a camera and some lights. And make my 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 bullshit look awesome. So then email comic pimp C O M I C P I M P V I P at gmail.com or call 201-675-2104 and I can hire you. I'll hire you for a job and will make the American dream. Cause this is America where the streets are paved with gold. Where you can say anything, you can do anything. This is America, where a crack dealer in Washington Heights. At least that's where I think he's. That's where I used to think he's talking about in the Empire State. Empire State. Uh, his name's Jay Z, by the way. Maybe you heard of him. He's married to Beyonce. He's got hit. He's got hit records. Owns part of the New York Knicks. You know? He started out dealing crack in the streets of the Heights. And now he's got an empire! A beautiful wife! Kids! Ivy Blue. You know? Owns the New York Knicks. Even though I don't know if that's a good thing. Makes movies. Has dynamite in water. Damn good vitamin, right? I've actually drank it. You know? And everything he says in the song, Empire State of Mind, is true. You know, the streets of New York City. If you're feeling sad and depressed, walk around. Feel the lights. Feel the vibe. It'll make you kind of talk of the world. <laughs> Scooby Scooby Doo. Yeah. This is America. The streets are paved with gold. If you have a dream... You can have a dream. You can be addicted to cocaine at the age of 13. Be in a, in a hit movies at the age of... I think she was 8 when E.T. came out. E.T. phone home. E.T. phone home. Drew Barrymore was a cute girl in E.T. and now is a sexy MILF. Testify! You know? By the age of 16... She was a table dancer. And then she became the head of flower p- pictures. Drew Barrymore. She gave David Lynn, she gave David Letterman a cop of feel in her titties. She was in Batman Forever. And she's been in every horrible Adam Sandler movie since the beginning. Because this is America. And it doesn't matter if we vote for Donald J. Trump. Please don't. It doesn't matter if we vote for... Hillary Clinton? Why the fuck are you gonna do that? Both of them all suck. Prostitutes don't suck as bad as both these candidates. But we have to choose someone. So just go out and go with your conviction and your hearts and know that tomorrow, no matter what, America will have a future because we will all live the American dream. And not Dusty Rhodes. But just that you have a dream, go and live it. Go and chase it. Don't let if you believe in yourself, if you use the secret and the law of positivity and the law of attraction, and you take the hardest step, which is the first step, and you start climbing up, climbing up to the mountain top, you will be you will reach your dreams and you'll reach your goals. And then one who's been helping me since the day I started the Awesome Sauce Comics podcast, whether it be Tony Hammock over at comicshittingup.net. Whether it's Mike, Steve, Daniel over at BadDragon.com. 
www.bad-dragon.com. I thank you guys for sponsoring me at Exotica this year. I love you guys. Uh, those gummy worms that you gave me, awesome effect. Not sure about the taste. Um, I'll put the, 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 the lube and the condoms to good use. Um, I, you know, to, to, uh, you know, to, to scores, to New York Comic Con, to Michael Carbonero, to the guys over at ACBC, to the cast of Arrow and Heroes and Villains Fan Fest, November, the next one happening in Atlanta, November 19th and 20th. If you want to meet Stephen Amell, go to Heroes and Villains Fan Fest. It's one of the greatest shows around. www.heroesfanfest.com Testify! But I, I, I just, like I said, this is America where anything and anything you set your mind and your heart to can't come true. And on that, I'm going to go um, play, I'm going to play another interview and I'm going to go get a little glass of water.
thank you. Sorry about that. It's all right. I had a bad habit of falling about it. And, um... XXX. She was in uh, Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. XXX. She's awesome. So. <laughs> I'm going to play another interview because I can. invitation to Sarah J. I have an open invitation to Sarah J. But I want to thank you for letting me touch those enormous, beautiful tits of awesomeness at Exotica. I mean, if anyone has a chance to go to www.pamelapeaks.com and if you want to have like a date with, with like Sarah J, uh, you can make that happen. I mean, like I said, it's a little bit of money, 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 a little bit of work, the last, A-C-T-I-O, the last seven letters in attraction for the law of attraction is the word action. If you want to make something happen, first you got to put it in your mind and think about it and fall in love with it and show gratitude for it. Then you got to put it into your heart and then you got to... Release it into the world. Bring it out to the universe. And just go with the power of positivity and love and believe and believe and receive. <laughs> Testify! You can make anything happen. This Saturday was living proof that anything and everything that you want to happen, if you dream hard enough, if you work hard enough, if you talk about it long enough, you can make it happen. And I am so grateful.
person you know uh, I, I really did thank her for you know chilling chilling with me for a little bit you know sharing the time sharing the love uh, and uh, you know I just really had a great Saturday you know uh, as I'm reorganizing awesome sauce comics a little bit and getting rid of some dead weight Reorganizing, getting new studio space, going from suburban New Jersey into the city, and getting ready for the future to have the best 2017 I can possibly even have to be the, as CM Punk would say, the best in the world, in the modified the way Chris Jericho would say it, the best in the world at what I do, you know, I am going to make some changes, and I... I'm going to be new, improved, and I'm going to, you know, just devote myself to being blind out of the comic pimp. Wheeling, Dylan, woo! The giant is stealing, woo! All the time. And we're going to have fun. I love you guys. Uh, you know... I'm just really blessed to be here today. And now, I like to get something else off my chest. <laughs> Joe Ruffalo, how you doing? Remember me, Joey? You know, I sent a good friend of mine, I'll keep nameless. Because this is between you and me, you geriatric bastard. You geriatric, power-hungry dictator. Yeah, and that's not me talking slender, Mr. Ruffalo, Mr. President of the NFB, National Federation for the Blind. This is me. Oh, by the way, this is, this is me talking as blind out of the comic pimp. This is me talking as Adam Anthony. Okay? This little shoot right now has nothing to do with Fanboy Delights D.I.P. L.L.C., the Awesome Sauce Comics Podcast. Um, this is just totally not something I'm going to get off my chest, Mr. Ruffalo, you geriatric, self-righteous, good-for-nothing, power-hungry, interfering, good-for-nothing piece of dog shit. Yeah, that's how I feel about you. 
That's the things I've seen you do and to see things I've seen you get away with over the years really makes me scratch my head and go, why the fuck do you still have your position, sir? You remember Joe? I sent episode 137, I believe it was, when I thanked my friends for supporting me for the first year of something I started because I couldn't get out of the house back in February 2015 and it turned into the greatest thing I have in my life. And yeah, that particular friend never left to everyone in her contacts because I asked her to share it. And uh, you know what? What did you do? You said that to everyone you could, you pissed the moan, you bitched, you called everyone. And you said, that's the bad guy. Then Adam Anthony, you know, he's talking about sucking, fucking, turning girls out in the hookers, making porn, telling jokes, you know, going, ha talking about Mixie, Mickey Mouse having sex. Oh boy, ha ha, Adam wants to help you get laid and get more girls record deals in Mickey Mouse land. Oh boy, ha ha, you know. You know, buying and selling collectibles, you know. But oh no, I'm the bad guy. But Joe, who's the one who, you know, when people were asking for jobs, when that particular job was opened, didn't even give them a support. Yeah, that was you, you dumb son of a bitch. You piece of crap. Who's the one who went complaining to uh, Mr. Truesdale? Ooh, what's up with Adam Anthony in his podcast? You didn't have the balls to come to me personally? Huh? Huh, Joe? Huh, Mr. Ruffalo? So I have a question for you, Joe. What happens if there's a hot blind girl? She's blonde hair, blue eyes. Big tits, nice thighs, type of girl that would knock out most dads. And she's legally blind. Alright? I guess a totally blind girl, if she wanted to, could work in a strip club. Or be a webcam model. Or be in the porn industry. Or something in adult entertainment. But where's the National Federation for the Blind Employment Support for that? You old school, old Fashioned, old, dead thinking. You know, let's push pencils on the street. Let's. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bite the hand that feeds me. Even though I think it could be mod modernized for the 21st century a little bit. You know. The reason Randolph Shepard got the. Business Enterprise Program started so people wouldn't be begging for quarters and having jobs taken away from them from people in power like you. You know? So what happens? Let's say this this girl. Hmm. We'll call, we'll call her Katie Loves Come. I like that Katie Loves Come, so give her some jizz in her mouth and make it squirt. Squirtle, squirtle, squirtle. Favorite Pokemon. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Yeah, strippers of Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Testify! But they call to the NSB and they go, Hi, Mr. Ruffalo, I don't want to be a stripper. Where's the love for that? I want to know why there hasn't been one hot blind girl working as a prostitute, a stripper, a porn star. Any of that. Why? Why is it when I go to AZN, the adult video expo art in Vegas, Exotica, which is held in four different you know cities a year, Edison, Chicago, Austin, or somewhere, or wherever the fuck it is in Texas, you know, why am I the only blind person there? What's up with that? 
I mean, I have my boys at Squares and my boys at Rick. Tell me there's a, there's at least one, one or two other blind people in New York City that go to strip clubs. Who knows? Maybe I say, fuck New Jersey. Fuck New York. I go out to Vegas. I set up shop. And I kick Joe Ruffalo's ass. I kick... Everybody else's ass lately who's been telling me, you know, maybe, you know, blah, blah, blah. You don't have it anymore. What? Uh, here's another self-soliciting pig fucker. It's probably giving you another... Let's, let's listen. Thank you, Dad. Hope you get the... Hope, hope you get your, your being sick, Pops. Ah oh, man! You know, but I want to know NSB, Chili Ruffalo, why can't there be a blind stripper, a blind porn store, someone blind working at the Buddy Ranch, the greatest brothel working for the all American pimp Dennis Hoff. You know the Bunny Ranch is the all American whorehouse. They serve truth, justice, the American wet, American met. Wait, watch this. Mushmouth. The American way. Five syllables. The American way. With Superman fight store. You know, uh, he serves men, couples, women. It's a, his brothels, whether it be the Bunny Ranch, the Love Ranch, the Alien Cat House, they're handicap accessible. But yet, there's no handicapped people who work there yet. What's up with that? I have to talk to Dennis about that one. You know, but to to quote the Bible, Ruffalo, he without sin should cast the first stone. And it seems like a year, like back in March, when I celebrated my one year anniversary, you decided to cast a stone, and you pissed me off. And now, my friend, I don't I don't want to say I'm mad at you. I don't want to say I'm angry with you, for I love you, because you lit the fire in my, in my belly. Because I am going to be a an adult company for visually impaired adults who enjoy sucking, fucking, going cuckoo for cocoa puffs, having fun, having a good time with their bodies. Because I don't see you. Doing anything about it. So just like a vigilante. Just like the arrow. The green arrow. I am going to do it. Because to quote the arrow. You have failed this city. So I am going to do something about it. <laughs> I will not rest. Until I see a girl. A girl who's totally blind. In pornography. Because that is how I roll awesome souls. And that's a rant. <laughs> now I'm going to play my inter this year's interview with Lexi Bell. You know, it works if you work it. So work it, you're working. And I also want to say, before I play the interview with Lexi, I'm going to play the interview with Lexi Bell, because I need to get more water.
this year. Oh, okay. It's only something me and my girlfriend are going to get. Oh, you have a girlfriend? Mm, kind of. Yeah, that's cool, man. Kind of like a, like a hookup kind of deal? Or like a... Kind of that we're friends with, the, friends with benefits. Got it. Awesome. That's the way you want it, man. That's yeah, pretty cool. She's probably blind and...
someone to help me the link last year's interview with her um you know uh to uh in the in the description or in my playlist i think it's like episode 90 somewhere in the 90s Man, that, this is episode 206 i, I can't remember every, every episode number um it's titled uh superman versus batman xxx and lexi bell uh but she's awesome. If you ever have a chance to meet her, whether she's teacher dancing, um, whether she's, uh, you know, uh, you know, going for a signing in, a, in an adult shop or, or whatnot, um, whether you can meet her at an exotica, Lexi's awesome. Allie was awesome. Souls! And it's, it's just so much fun, man. Uh, now... I want to show you, to show you I got another interview with, uh, I think her name was Rita Daniels, the MILF guilt that I met. No, this is an inspirational story. This is why, my friends, you should love America, regardless of how the election goes. Um, and speaking of the election, if anyone wants a really, really cool comic book collectible from Antarctic Press... There is a, and what the heck the adult coloring books become a fad. Uh, but there is a Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump coloring book that is a swiped cover of Hulk, The Incredible Hulk 181, which is the first appearance of Wolverine. Ah, oh, man, if you want to, don't, it's like going to be a piece of history, um, what you're going to want, which is another great comic that you can probably still find at LCS's on the cheap for between seven and ten bucks and make a twenty-five dollar bill on. Um, because there was only the print run was about two thousand copies and whatnot. But man, it, it's a fun book. Uh, you you can color in. You know, you you can you can draw dicks on uh, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton's face. You can go book a picky pad with a picky picky bang, yo. You, you can quote, you can actually draw, you know, Donald Trump get, Donald Trump getting a blowjob from Hillary Clinton, uh, since they're both fucking America, uh, but at, at Arctic Press, man, they got a hit in their hands with this coloring book, go to your local comic book shop, whatever it's www.midtowncomics.com, Maximum Comics, out in Vegas, uh, you know, my boys, one of my one of my mentors, Golden Apple Comics, um, over in uh, L.A. Uh, and uh, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna play this interview.
www.badbad-dragon.com for sponsoring me for Exotica 2016. Steve, Daniel, uh, Frankie. I hope you guys got to see Doctor Strange because I still need to go see it. That will be done by Wednesday. Uh, you know, I I'd like to thank my good buddy Jason Ryband. If you have a credit, a credit swiper, you need to start accepting credit cards. www.cardclnect.com. Card Connect. You know, as soon as I look at all the information he sent me, I'll, I'll, I can read the exact details. But give Jason an email. Go to the website. They are the best on the market. You tried the rest, now try the best. CardConnect.com today. You know, I'd like to thank, you know, Ellie, just everyone who helped make Exotica 2016 real for me. It was another reality. To you, everyone in the Awesome Sauce, fam awesome sauce family, I love you. I, just, I do this for you, and I could not do this without you. Of course, without you, there is no me. And... Keep one foot in the gutter, one fist in the gold. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. Blind Adam out. I love you guys. Focus on tape pick. Stop read. Stop read.